Hi, it's James here. A question I'm asked time and time again as I travel around the world meeting lots of entrepreneurs is how do we build creative businesses? How do we build innovative companies? It's a great question because you know, every entrepreneur at their heart wants to kind of create the Disneys of this world and the Apples of this world. You know, you, you look up as an entrepreneur to the Walt Disneys or the Steve Jobs. But there's two dangers that I see entrepreneurs and managers falling into when they're thinking about how to build a creative business. And the first one is very uh, simple. Uh, the second one is a little bit more difficult to kind of get over. So the first one is the gimmicks. And having worked in Silicon Valley myself for a number of years, I've seen my fair share of gimmicks within companies and within the startups. So this is everything from the football table uh, to the slide in the corner of the room to the funky art. Um, frankly, some of these are great fun, but they don't contribute to actually having a creative company and to a creative business. So that's kind of relatively easy to deal with. But the second one is actually more deep-seated. And the second one is, is something I see recurring time and time again, and a mistake that entrepreneurs are making time and time again. And it's called the smart person syndrome. It's this idea that if you just get enough smart people in a room, then they'll automatically come up with incredibly innovative ideas for their products and services and creative companies. And frankly, if you've ever spent any time going around different businesses, you'll see lots of examples of businesses that have lots of really, really smart people and they're incredibly uninnovative and uncreative as businesses. So smart people does not equal innovative and creative companies. So how do we actually create a creative business? How do we create these kind of creative companies that we're talking about? Well, the first thing is to think about actually what is really important. So I would argue that ideas as the, as the, as the engine uh, of, of any kind of creative business comes from people. Therefore, people are more important than ideas. I would rather I had you know, the right team of people and the right chemistry than necessarily having the right idea. Ideas can come and go as well. But if I've got the right team and with the right chemistry, then they're going to generate the ideas that are going to help sustain that business for decades to come. So that's the first point on that. It's much better to build and to get a team that performs well than necessarily the individual talents or individual kind of talented workers within your team. So once you've kind of built this team and got this, this, this chemistry right within your team, it's really then thinking about how you can find, develop, and support good people. And that's what having a creative business is about. It's about the people. It's actually not about necessarily the, the ideas. You know, if you want to build an innovative company, find the right people, develop them in the right way, and support them on their journey and help them flourish as creative individuals. That's how you build a creative company. That's how you build an innovative business. My name is James Taylor. Hey, it's James here. Did you like that video? If so, I'd love to continue the journey. And there's three ways you can do that. Firstly, you can click on the subscribe button and this will subscribe you to my YouTube channel where you get the weekly updates, weekly video updates. Secondly, if you click on the link, you'll also get my free video training series. And that's where I share the latest tips and techniques on how to become more creative. And finally, thirdly, I'd like if you were to go to my website, and sign up for my email newsletter where I also share lots of new products that are coming out, some free video series, some free training that um, I'm constantly providing. So it would be great if you did one of those three things just now. See you on the other side.